Now we're going to explore the summation list, and first we're going to do that for single variable statistics. So if we ent enter the summation uh, list, you'll see a number of options here. Insert, delete, name, get are the ones we're going to look at. So first, I have cleared the data that is in this list. So there's no data in this list. Let's enter in the number one as our first item. That jumps us down to the second item in our list. So number two, let's do a three, four, and a five. And I'm just jumping down to the, I'm just entering in these numbers for ease of uh, demonstration. Okay, let's exit our enter. I can go back up and look at any of those items in my list by using the arrow keys. So let's say that I get up to the top and I decide, well, I want a number, a number, uh, a zero at the beginning of my list. I can do insert and it automatically puts in a zero. And then I can change that number if I want to. Let's say instead of a zero, I wanted a two as the first item in my list. So now the first item in my list is two, then I have one, two, three, etc. And it shows a running total, and if I get back to this list, then I can also hit total, and it'll show the running total of the numbers in my list. Uh, let's say that I made a mistake there. Well, let's go ahead and delete that number. So now my item one is one, two, three, etc. If I wanted to store this list, then I can hit name, and let's call this, uh, let's call it list A. So L I S T. A input. Now when I go to get, it will show me the lists that I have. So I have list A, and if I want a new list, let's do that. And with this one, now we have a new list, a brand new list. Let's do five, uh, four, three, two, and one. So those are our items in this list. And let's name that um, list B. So now if I go to get, I have list A and list B there. So let's, let's back out of that. We've already got list B loaded. And now I can start to do some calculations on these. Let's go to the calculate menu. And of course we've already seen we've got the total. We can see the mean of those uh, numbers in our list. We can find the median. In this case, since we have five items, the median is the same as the mean. We can find the standard deviation. And then the range gives us the, uh, the highest number, the largest number, uh, minus the smallest number. More, show you a min, a max, and then you can sort the list. Forecast is for doing two variable statistics, so we won't explore that now. Let's go ahead and sort that list, and it sorts it from uh, in ascending order from uh, smallest to largest. So now if we go back, oops, go back into our menu here, we have list B is what we are working on, but items are now sorted uh, from smallest to largest. One other thing, if I want to jump up to the top of the list, I can use shift and the arrow key and that will get me to the top and then of course shift down will get me to the bottom and scroll up through those two. So that is the single variable statistics. Let's go ahead and run run uh, these numbers here just so we get something more than the numbers one through five. So I want to do a get a new list and let us uh, let's go 340 175 and you'll notice too, if I hold down it, it will show the number that I've entered. Hold down the input key. Yeah, we got 450, 780, 245, and 625. So our running total, and let's do some calculations. So we got a running total is 2,615. What's our mean? $435.83 for whatever these bills are. Our median, that's the uh, standard deviation, and then our range from the largest to the smallest number. So that would be the 780 uh, minus the 175. Our min, 175, max 780. 
And then if we wanted to sort those, we back out, uh, look at our list, jump up to the top. We have now sorted in ascending order. So I, I actually really like this menu. It's uh, an intuitive way to input stuff. If we want to clear this list, we can do, so right now we are looking at, we're looking at a list that we haven't named yet. So let's go ahead and clear that. Clear data, clear the list. That list is gone, we're back at item number one. If we go to get list B, and then we clear that one, it will prompt us not only to clear the list, but ask us if we want to clear the list name. If we say no, then we keep the list name, but it's an empty list. If we say yes, now if we go to get, that list B is gone.